Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We are back again playing some Paradox and we have two brand new mods, or at least they were brand new on the workshop, I hadn't seen them before, and my god, are they amazing. So first of all, let's go and uh, jump into our arcade here and maybe we'll play a game. We'll, we'll play this a few times, see what we end up getting, probably get ourselves a key or two. I'll play it twice, I'm not going to play it more. There you go, we got the uh, Crescendo Blaster and that, and this is a hundred. So this I'm still not very good at, to be aware, but I do want to try my best at this because it's it's been quite a while. And apparently you only get the rewards that you get if you actually beat it, so I do have to play reasonably well here, which I think I can do. I think I can do. We get some casings along the way. Oh god, I just got a huge lag spike then. I'll try and end him off on a power move. Oh, I lost my power move, doesn't matter. I always forget that the tail whip um, does a little bit of extra and you can't actually dodge it, you have to block it. But, I'm always so bad at stopping him from healing. There is a way of doing it. Damn it. I'm just really bad at it. Let's just play it safe, let's just play it safe, because I'm... You see, I just can't stop him from healing. Oh, I... I might die again here. I'm, I'm just... Kind of shitting the bed a little bit, I'll be honest. Oh, I thought that was going to kill him. It, it didn't quite kill him. Okay, let's just... Last phase. I can't even remember what he does on the last phase, so... Apologies for when that inevitably happens. No, what? I did not know that. Oh, I, I'm forgetting how to play this completely. Um, yeah, I tried to power move while he was doing that. I thought that would work. No! <laughs> I fucking dodged back again. Can I play again? If I can play again, I will. I'm going to say no. Probably not. Damn you. And Why am I so bad at the rat? I, just, I haven't fought the rat in so long. Something I do need to do, though, just to actually be able to try that more often is give hegemony... Credits. 1,000. There you go. Now we've just got a bit more to play around with. Obviously cheaty, but I want more to play around with. But it's fun. Anyways, the two new mods that I speak of. One of them is basically a refactoring of an old mod that I'm very happy to see. And another one is a completely new one. Both of them, game changers. They're so cool. So the first one, you'll see immediately as we drop in. In fact, there you go. Look, now we have a stats menu at the side. And if you open up menu, you can change what's displayed. That's so nice. But then the next one, we have a weapon wheel. Oh my god, we have a weapon wheel. Someone made a weapon wheel. No longer do you have to select weapons in the most bullshit way possible. Good. I've never really sort of spoken about it. Or even really thought about it. But weapon selecting in Gungeon is ass. It's so bad. Uh, the fact that you have to favorite weapons and stuff. Projectiles break the boss di damage cap. Oh, damn. Okay. That is um quite, quite the good little bonus for us there. We also started off with a flash ray. I didn't actually check what item we started off with. Oh, we started off with battle standard. Battle standard's a really good item to start with, actually. Because I believe it increases the amount of familiars you find over the course of the run. I, I might be mistaken there, but I think it does. Which should mean that because we got it really early on, we should see more benefit from it, which is very good, very nice. I see. I was wondering why that guy wasn't moving close towards me. Turns out he is trapped. But Flash Ray, another really good weapon early on. But yeah, the, we be able to change these stats. We've got some really nice displays in here. Obviously, there was already a mod that displayed your stats. But it was, it was a little awkward, and this one has the nice little icons as well. Um, and um, also, you could only trigger, toggle things on and off using the console, which honestly, even in modding, I, I really like to say that anything you can do without the user having to use the console is always going to be the preferred option. Now, obviously, this isn't, this isn't always the case. Sometimes you can't get around it. Sometimes Gungeon has too many limitations to allow you to not have stuff like a lot of the mods have their unlocks um, checking their unlocks based within the console. Um, 
so it can't be helped all the time but whenever there's a way to do it without the console i highly recommend it to any modders because i feel like for the average person it just feels a lot more seamless and part of the part of the game to not have to use the console even though the modding itself enables the use of console it's always nice to not have to use it so i i commend this person for uh, making this mod and not needing the use of the console it's really nice but yeah absolutely love love the idea behind this with the isaac style icons and everything it just looks so nice and being able to like toggle on and off what you need i love the fact that not only does it give you um like you can add on mic size and stuff but i've got like my dps on there being able to see your dps is so useful so useful and it's not something you'd regularly be able to see and it's not something the other um the other stats mod actually offered i don't believe unless i'm mistaken but I don't remember it being there, so it's really nice to see. I'm very happy with it. But yeah, Breaking Boss TPS cap, probably not going to be something we notice for a little while here. Um, I will crack that bad boy open. Oh, foam darts. Okay, so this has, we've got a times knockback multiplier. That's so cool to be able to see my knockback multiplier there. I love this. This is awesome. And then we've also got a heart pairs here as well, which is not great. But actually, no, saying that, I'm going to say it's not great. But I actually think that it is pretty great because um, we now have more HP to trade away when it comes to the um, the planet side rooms, which is very, very nice. I still don't really know exactly what to call them. I think Bunny has told me what their name is. I always forget it. So for now, I just call them the planet side rooms. But... Having more HP to trade away to them, feeling a little less risky, is going to be nice. Obviously, we can't trade away the heart purse itself. We have to trade master rounds. But I'll be more inclined to trade a master round if I have the health in place of it instead. It's good stuff. Also, I do think that Breaking Boss DPS cap is helping with this gun. Because that seemed to kill that guy reasonably quickly. Also, apparently... Um, I was saying that these rooms are too easy to get and need to be refactored. Apparently, they're not easy to get, and I'm just incredibly lucky, so, yeah. But yeah, look at this. Weapon wheel. A weapon wheel. It's the best thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. It's so good. What's this guy jammed? Why is he silver? Whoa, that's a cool attack. Apparently, there's going to be more done with these guys at some point. Dude, this guy is tanky. Holy hell. Um, I think I want Explosive Birth. Whenever there's the, the, there's the option to take Explosive Birth, that's always one of my favorites. It's kind of one of those items that I feel like it's not always going to be super overpowered. But if you get the right setup, it can really be something special. And I prefer that with those. Like, I feel like some of the other ones are like all positive and this one isn't negative at all but there's the chance that you might not get to use it whereas like chaotic shift is almost always going to be good and stuff like that i i i would like to uh I've, I've sort of spoke about this before and bunny has addressed this about adding more effects to them and change them balance them around a little bit chaotic shift has been balanced a little bit since i mentioned it apparently um and there has been some tweaks and changes but yeah i think giving them they don't always have to have a downside, so to say, but giving them, like, a drawback... I know drawback's kind of the same as saying downside. You know what I mean, though? Giving something where it's, like, it's not just a, a straight-up, this is great, like... With the all-stats-up one, for example, I think that's a fine one to have, um, just having an all-stats-up, but that one should be significantly rarer than the rest, in my opinion. I know that you're already trading HP away to get it, and you have to get the mass around, and you have to actually get the room to spawn. So there is multiple conditions. But one thing that I've always kind of said, and it's kind of difficult to have this mindset, but when you're balancing, um, when you're balancing like modding, something that you've got to remember is that most, if not all people that are modding the game are people that have already beaten the base game. So most people that are installing mods are gonna be better skills on average than people that haven't um so keeping that in mind and making your mods more difficult and having things that aren't quite as powerful is not a bad thing because even the weaker players or less experienced players are gonna have a harder time with that it's a lot more 
um, it's a lot more unlikely that you're gonna see those players using the mod anyhow, if you know what I mean. It's definitely something to, like, it's not like a general rule, it's not like it always has to be that way, but it's definitely something to consider, I think. Or at least in my opinion. Again, it's only my opinion. People might may think differently. We get a Mozambique here. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Some people won't know what the hell I'm on about, but fucking the Mozambique meme from, um, I mean, I'm guessing the reason it's in this game is from Apex Legends, and everyone used to just ping the gun, and your character just be like, Mozambique here, Mozambique here, Mozambique here, all the time, just constantly saying it. Um, Wisp in a bottle. Yes? I get what Wisp in a bottle does, but it seems decent. Uh, a bottle that contains a living star used with caution. Nice. I think this should work with um, with Explosive Birth, right? Uh, yeah, so when I said Mozambique here, I didn't even mean to do that. No? For some reason, I thought it caused an explosion. It does not. It just does heavy damage over time. Still, it's very good. I thought it was going to do... Um, I thought it was going to be like Will of the Wisp from Risk of Rain. I thought it was going to cause enemies to explode on death once I used it or something. Cause just because it looks like Will of the Wisp. Obviously, now I know that it's not. I have had this item before. I should have known what it did. I just forgot. Also, I am loving my, uh, my Burner Boy here. One thing I do think that's maybe um, a little strong with Explosive Bear, although I do like the idea is the fact that it creates explosive birth shots on enemies exploding. I like the idea because it means that the item is still useful, even if you don't get an explosive weapon on your run, which isn't always guaranteed. That is nice. But some of them do throw out quite a lot of projectiles. Like that, I killed like one grenade there and it kind of cleared the whole room. I think maybe if it's your own explosion, it should spawn more projectiles. If it's an enemy explosion, it should spawn less. I think that'd be a nice way to, to balance it out a little bit. It's difficult, because Gungeon isn't really a game where you get to choose what weapons you find in really any regard. The only the only regard you'd really say that is um, slightly on the side of shops, but even shops don't always offer what you want. Um, so it's it's more understandable to have, it, have a, an application outside of having an explosive weapon, but still. I always like to sort of critique my thoughts on, on some of these to see how they could be better balanced. I'm not always the best person to speak about balance, just because obviously I do have like 2,000 hours in this game. Um, ooh, hello. I guess I do have a lot of time in this game, so it's kind of like hard for me to really say like, oh yeah, definitely, um, definitely do what I say, because it might not apply to everyone. Th that's always a difficult thing. Honestly, sticky crossbow, hell yeah. Um, kind of a difficult thing. What was, is this our chest room? Did I miss this? <laughs> I think I missed this completely. Oh, well. Right, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll use the sticky crossbow here. I think the sticky crossbow will trigger explosive birth. It does. Good, good, good. I, I, was, I was thinking it would, because obviously it is an explosive bolt. I just wasn't 100% sure. And I think every single bolt actually um, triggers explosive birth. That's really nice. Also, do the explosive bear projectiles pierce ones too? I'm not sure if they do. I think they do. That would be something we could tweak a little bit. I'm, this, that's not to say that I don't love explosive bear. It's one of my favourite ones, actually. I, I, th I think it's a lot of fun. It does just sound like, that, that like I absolutely love complaining. Um, many people would come to that conclusion. Many people would also be right. <laughs> no, I, I, I try to make my complaints not come across as um, whiny, but they always do. Um, let's look, 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 look what we got here. Neutronium amulet. Uh, an impossible element with no protons created in the mantle of a neutron star. Crushes nearby space when ignited by a blank. Ooh, sounds kind of interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but... I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Trash cannon. Trash cannon is what it is. I, I love this. Because you can still swap weapon like this, look. You can still you can still set your favourites and then swap between the two, which I really like. But then you've got much easier access. You can also use the uh, arrows on your D-pad to swap between the things easily. But I use the um, analog stick. I think this is really conducive of working with an analog stick. But even on mouse... It's a, it's a really good way of doing it. I, th I think that no matter what, this is a flat upgrade that everyone should install. It's It seems 
bonkers good. And it's kind of crazy to, to think that no one did this before, but at the same time, you don't really think as the weapon swapping as flawed, because it's all you've ever known with Gungeon, but when you're offered something better, you're like, oh uh, damn. They did it really poorly. <laughs> it just, it's, the Gungeon weapon swapping system is absolutely fine until you get to the later floors where you have like eight guns or more, then it becomes a problem. And honestly, the amount of time that I waste swapping weapons is annoying, especially when I pick up a new weapon and it ruins my currently saved two favorites. I'm not sure why that guy's charmed. Oh, I think that's Battle Standard doing that. I think Battle Standard has a chance to charm. This is going to be a fun setup here. Good, good, good. I actually have a lot of armor here, um, which is really nice because if I find the armor shop, which isn't guaranteed, but if I do, I can actually um, purchase something, which would be really nice. Especially if it's more gun knight pieces. That'd be really good. But yeah, this gun's getting extra utility out of explosive birth here. A lot of extra utility, and it's very, very nice to see. Makes a weapon that isn't particularly great. I actually think this is a good weapon. It's just unfortunately its ammo leaves it to be a leaves a lot to be desired. But now, as you can see there, explosive birth essentially gives it some sort of extended damage period where you can fire and still still kill an enemy after, like I just did there. Yeah, I like the randomly charmed enemies here and there. We are going to run out of ammo for this thing fairly soon, though. Let's uh, pop our neutron star thing. Seems to be pretty good damage overall. I really like the visual effect of it, like the heat wave sort of effect. Looks really good. God damn it, game. Why gotta be this way? So often do you troll me. It's like literally once an episode at this point. Anyways, let's, let's put this play out, because it will give us an item. And we get... Whatever this is. It's like a tree bullet? Fract... Oh, is it, this is the one that's insane, isn't it? Is this the one where I fire and it splits? I need a big enough room to test this. Maybe? Okay, there you go, yeah. It is. Obviously doesn't work with everything, clearly. Okay, I think it just has a chance to happen. Yeah, it does. Okay, it's not a guarantee. That That's better, because if it was a guarantee, it would be for one pretty overpowered, but for two pretty laggy. But this is really good for um, our, like, the fact that we're doing um, no boss cap damage, because all the extra shots are actually going to mean something when it comes to killing a boss. Also, even the missed shots are going to create a nice amount of explosions with this thing, so this is overall going to be very, very good. Okay. Get that bad boy. Have we found either of our chests yet? Oh, uh, no, of course, we found one rainbow chest. Um... I hate this room with a burning passion. Thank God it went by so easily. Right, shop time. We've got a good amount of money here. We do have a sucky boy as well. Um... Ooh, I think the shot grub is actually a very good take right now because with these fractal shots, it's going to get wild. I think anything with multiple pellets is going to get real crazy. So let's uh, let you munch on my bum for um, a few seconds. Yeah, got up to 200. That's where I was looking to get to. Right, this thing probably is going to be nuts. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's kind of crazy. Especially if we get that synergy that makes it home. That that would be wild. That would be really, really crazy. But for now, we still stick with the um, sticky crossbow here. It's going to take me a while to get used to the weapon wheel, I will say. It's significantly better, but it is going to be a little bit of an adjustment period to actually remember that I've got a weapon wheel now. I'm sure I'm going to switch weapons incorrectly or what whatnot every now and again. Heroin is a decent weapon. A weapon I don't particularly like just because it's really good and kind of boring to use. Okay, 
nice. Ooh, we got a Winchester game here. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, this is one of the easier ones. I'm not going to say that I'm going to get it right. Okay, it doesn't matter. The fractal bullets kind of just crushed it. I wasn't really thinking about that when I fired. Really? You're going to miss that? You kidding me? Come on, game. Come on now. If I don't get this, I'm going to be really sad. God damn it. <laughs> And we get the Crescent Crossbow, which is going to be wild. The Crescent Crossbow seems like it could be crazy. Also, isn't this thing called, like, the Crescent something or other? Crescendo Blaster. How is the Crescendo Blaster and the Crescent Crossbow not the synergy? I realize that it's just similar wording, but I don't know. It seems like they should. Oh, yes. Oh my god. It doesn't trigger super often, but when it does, oh boy. I love the Crescent Crossbow as well. It's a really cool design for a weapon. There you go. Oh. Not having Boss VPS Cat to deal with is really nice as well here. Also, very good. And we get a synergy with this too. Is that the synergy? I can't remember. Oh, no, no. This is this is the one where they bounce back, isn't it? Still really good. Still really good. Not the synergy I was thinking of, though. Okay. Let little old lady chow down a bit more. In fact, I'm going to go whole hog. I'm going to go to 300. We've just got so much armor to save us that I don't really care. Need two more, right? Oh no, three more. There we go. Not got any health on the map, do we? We do have one. Yeah, yellow chamber's just great in general. I don't actually know for sure, but did I get... Because battle standard plus yellow chamber is a good combo. Did I get yellow chamber because I've got battle standard? Because obviously, like I said, it increases the amount of familiar-based items you get. Does... A yellow chamber technically count as a familiar item. Is that why I got it? Very plausibly. I don't know that for sure. Someone someone like Never Named will have to correct me and inevitably shame me for being entirely wrong about that. But it'd be interesting to know. I don't know why I used to blank there. Okay. Blanks create black holes. Now we know that. That's actually really cool. This is wild. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Made this weapon actually quite good. Cheaper champion. You survived for a long time, sir. Wow. Oh, God. The dreaded room. Good. What the hell's this? Blood thinner. I should have checked what the synergy was with first. One second. Thicker than water. Turns hearts into other consumables at full HP. Does not affect shops. Okay, useless for us right now, but interesting. I'm not quite sure what the synergy does, but Never Name can highlight in the comments. I think it's a newish item, so I don't think it'll be on the wiki. It might be, but I'm not going to bother looking at this point. I really love this synergy we've got going on here. Making this weapon into just an absolute beast. 
Okay. So we'll buy hearts because we want to get all the consumables. I know that doesn't really make a ton of sense, but I'm doing it. I'll buy a key as well. And also, we've just got tons of money to work with here. Tons of money. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I essentially paid more for it than I did giving it away, but... Hey, her. Two pieces of armor for a key. Very nice. Always a bit annoying when those brown chests are like, hey, oh, fuck you. Suck up that big gun nut. I do wonder how effective this will be against the boss. Just without damage cap, I think this could be quite insane. Oh, okay. That was easy enough. Yeah, just because it, like, pierces through and everything, like, could be kind of nutty. Could it be a large target and everything? Especially if it's, like, the kill pillars that we get or whatnot. Like, the damage isn't insane, but I think if all the shots hit, the damage could really step itself up quite a lot. Yeah, those shots confused the hell out of me, then. Okay. Also, because we've got the extra knockback from whatever item it was that gave us the extra knockback, I can't actually remember what it was now. Was it the sponge bullets? The dart bullets? I think it was, but it's actually quite nice with this setup because we've got a lot more force pushing enemies into pits. A lot more force. Ooh, didn't mean to get hit there, but I found a secret room. Hello, sir. This guy can often be troublesome. I always found his visuals a little crazy. Okay, this thing is is, is unfortunately trash against bosses. Um, okay, I think the black hole was just kind of screwing me there into eating all my projectiles. This guy is rough. Okay, the black holes are actually very annoying. We got through it, though. Also, 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 so that guy, I think the visuals can be turned a little bit back, in my opinion. Uh, this guy gives you way too much loot. <laughs> the reward you get from this dude is ridiculous. Oh, this is the um, really strong gun, right? I can't remember exactly. You can't take ammo for it, but it's very strong. Yeah, th th that, that thing is absolutely nutty. Yeah, may maybe the shot group won't be very good for bosses, because it didn't seem to do much against that guy. I see you there, dude. Oh, we got this thing. Oh, this thing's this thing with the splitting bullets is a bit glitchy. Oh lord, it's a bit glitchy. It's meant to produce one wormhole per click like that, but if we hold down fire, it produces a ridiculous amount. Because <laughs> it, it like it still counts the projectile, and it's still trying to split. Like if I just do this, and then what we what we're looking for here. Uh, this thing here. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, this thing kind of wrecked that guy. Charming rounds. Actually pretty decent with uh, battle standard. Thank you very much. We can actually see how much, um, how much damage that thing does. Does 40 per bullet. A lot. DPS of 224. I don't think we have anything else that's close to that. Yeah, that's that's way higher than everything else we have right now. Oh, what the hell? The DPS of this thing is apparently quite high. <laughs> I don't think it's quite as high as the uh, stats make it out to be, I'll be honest. Although, <laughs> do, 
We got ourselves glass. Let's just take all seeing. I like being able to see secret rooms. The rest of it, I'm not not too bothered about. Right. Um. Yeah, I love this. This is so nice. And I can still step through them pretty easily. So I can favorite. So I'll favorite that and that. And I've got them two on my favorites. That's really nice. That is just so sleek. Makes the late game a little easier, and it makes just trying to find the guns you want. Because your vision, because like normally when you're like kind of doing it, the the tiny in the bottom right corner, it's kind of hard to visualize all the guns, and you kind of don't really see them. Now you've got like actual images of them right in front of you in a wheel, so it's so much easier to kind of spot the gun that you want. Still, when you've got a lot of guns, especially modded ones that you don't recognize off the bat, it's going to take some time. And like I said, there's going to be that adjustment period. But overall, very nice improvement. Very nice. Are we going to load? I think we are. I think we are. Boy is moving all laggy-like, which not only means it is going to load, but it's taking its sweet-ass time. Come on. You can do it. Yes, it's loaded. I think. The stat menu came up, which is normally a good sign. Huzzah! Yeah. Let's stick with these two for now. This thing's just a lot of fun. I also think being able to, like, have more shots that are, like, lower damage means more regularly charmed enemies, which is going to be useful with Battle Standard, but also for just having them not shoot at us, which is always useful. Oh, so a heart showed up then and then got transformed into ammo. So you actually do get to see if a heart would have dropped. That's pretty nice. Okay, so the knockback here is going to be important. Nice. Boop. 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 And boop. Oh, this is the blob. The blob shrine room. Ow. That guy managed to hit me and I don't know how. Sorry, fellas. You're all dead. Do you know what would be really cool to see? I realise this is probably impossible, or at least a ways off if it was ever to be done. But having um, having waves of rooms be based on whether certain enemies are alive or not. So, like, if, if that little blob, if I go back to this room here, if the little blob that's on here dies, the next wave of enemies doesn't spawn. But if it's still alive after you've killed all the enemies in the room currently, the next wave does spawn. I think that'd be kind of interesting. Absolute sea of shots that we have right now is a little insane. We got ourselves a vacuum gun, which might be. It would have been good if we found that earlier. Curse from five. I'll take some more curse. The vacuum gun will keep on secondary, just because it can suck up blobs. It would have been really nice to have found that before that room, to be honest. Well, let's pretend we didn't see that room. Oh, dude, you didn't die. Okay. Do you know, I kind of hate black holes. You just eat all your shots. They're super useful defensively, but offensively they're annoying as hell. There we go. We got sack of pickups. Omega bullets. Do we have anything that would work well with Omega bullets? Not really. Yeah, not, not really, to be honest. Um, it's still good. I think we take a Mega Bullets. I think we take the Grenade Launcher. Grenade Launcher obviously does work with the Mega Bullets, but the explosion damage means that it won't really matter. I am also take this because it's a really nice way to trigger explosive there. And it's just kind of good anyways. What in the hell is this? Original lock door seems impossible to open. I did get some notes from some bunny in the last uh, update that he sent me, so let me check those. What did he say? Um, uh, one or two new shrines, a new special interactable, a new item, a decent amount of bug fixes, and some tweaks. Um, interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a some bunny thing, I would assume, but I'm not sure if this is just like I need to do something else to get in here, 
or if it's this is content coming soon, please wait sort of thing. That that's what it looks like to me. Oh shit! I did not think about these these uh, grenade launchers splitting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one of those that is, but either way, looks exciting. I'll try and figure it out. Don't you eat my grenades. Hello there, sir. Okay, let's kill the cultists first. I didn't see them coming. It's a really cool visual effect on that shrine there. Make a bloody sacrifice. A shrine to both nothing and everything, both light and dark, good and evil. A shrine to the universe, a shrine to time. A diamond. That gave us um, some decent stats, which is nice. I do wonder if that has anything to do with this door. I would imagine not. Doesn't seem like a key or anything like that. It's impossible to open. Hmm. I, I can't tell if that shrine is a random shrine that can appear just in any run, or if this was like a Pre, pre authored thing to appear on this floor. I'm unsure. Either way, it gave us some stats for um for a uh, a heart. Seems pretty decent to me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Onto the dragon himself. We'll do, go do our item runs first, though. I'll uh, switch gun actually. I'll use this for a little bit again. I don't want to waste all my ammo on the grenade launch. I think that's going to be really good for the fight. Sir, if you could please die. Thank you. Okay, you're charmed now. That's useful. Ah, shit. I wasn't sure what enemies were, were spawning there. Is that it? Nope. I don't think so. Ow. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't realize those things could move. All right, then. That's something new to me. in a second. I think I've seen everywhere else now, haven't I? Yes, I have. Do you know what? It'd be... Oh, this this is... We've got Table Tech Hall now, essentially. Uh, also Hidden Tech Magic. Um, it'd be kind of cool to see, like, an addition to this guy, where if you also found the, se uh, the secret room, he gave you, like, a higher tier reward or something. Got the Void Shotgun, which I imagine... Yeah, I'm going to say it's quite good. Right. Crescent crossbow and grenade launcher. Where is that? I've lost the grenade launcher. There it is. going to take a bit of time to get used to. But I like it a lot. There's going to be a lot of screen shake for a little while here. But as you can also see, a lot of damage. Come on, fractal shots. There you go, baby. There you go. Okay, we are doing some mad crazy damage right now. I'm getting some random frame stutters here, but nothing I aren't used to on Gungeon, to be honest. Yeah, you're big dead. Big dead. Let me take a pause real quick here as well. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll do this first. What we got? What we got? Everything dead? I think everything's dead. Greed, Unbreakable Spirit, 
Let's go with this for now. Let's 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 do boss rush in style. So if we look at our damage multiplier, we've got a 2.3x multiplier. Which isn't actually a lot for losing all of your health. I would have thought it's at least 3x, but there you go. Ah, oh, I missed. Big sad. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and do boss rush in style here. See what happens. Let me take a pause real quick. Okay, let's keep this party rolling. Let's keep this party going. I do wonder if the explosive birth projectiles scale off of our damage. I'm not actually sure. Because obviously the grenade launcher isn't benefiting from our damage. Only the actual impact of the grenade hitting the enemy is. And that's really very little damage in the grand scheme of things here. We should maybe save this. Um, what should we go for? Let's try this thing out for a bit. Ooh, that's that. That's going to cause a lot of bullets on screen, and I like that. Look at that. <laughs> And everything's getting charmed as well. Beautiful. I think they stick around for the whole room as well. Yeah, this is nice. This thing with our damage, pretty good stuff. I don't know where any of these portals are showing up, to be honest. There you go. They're all at the other side of the room. That's where they are. No! I dodged really poorly then. Probably a risk to use this against that guy. Spam this like crazy. Okay, yeah, you're roasted and toasted, my guy. Roasted and toasted. Okay, this weapon's actually maybe our boss killer, so let's uh let's do that. Do that. Crescent crossbow, maybe, for the for room clearing. I don't know if that's maybe going to be overkill in certain aspects, but we'll see. I suppose it's not always going to trigger the split, so it's not always going to be overkill. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason as to when it splits. I'm really not sure. Holy shit. What even happened in this room? Apparently there's still enemies alive. Calm down, game. Just about everyone there has been blacked. There was a, there's a key in here somewhere. I was just say I don't, I don't need it or see it. I finally found it. This thing with extra knockback is also really good. Okay. Things seem to be going well. It looks like we're going the right way and everything as well. Look at the chicken getting burnt alive. Poor little chicken. Poor little chicky chicky. Okay, the burning is doing a good job of saving our ass here. Oh my lord. I love the, the way it looks in, against the walls. That was close. Like, when it hits the walls, it just, like, lights the entire room up with this, this glorious spread. Very nice. Okay, we're on the home stretch here. We have an insane amount of blanks somehow. I actually don't know how we've managed to acquire so many blanks. There's another one. <laughs> Maybe that's how. Okay, we're all out on this thing. So let's go with... Hmm, I'm not sure, actually. Go back to this bad boy. Nope, wrong gun, wrong gun. 
There you go. Accidentally highlighted the wrong one there. And then here's the boss. So I think with the boss we want to go with grenade launcher and what else do we want? That. I think these two are going to be really good together. With the breaking DPS cap, basically the longer we hold down fire on this thing, the more insane this damage is going to get. <laughs> it gets pretty wild pretty quick. Does take a while to spool up, which is why I'm probably going to use the grenade launcher on this second part here. But it's very, very good. So even just the grenade launcher itself hitting without doing the duplicating and all that nonsense is going crazy. Once we do get the, the duplicating with explosive birth, it's going to be an insta-kill. Okay, then back to the, um, back to the tentacle. Okay, this guy is jammed, which honestly I don't think means too much for us. Remember, we have a lot of blanks. If things get a little tight, just blank. But I don't think we're going to need to care because he is dead. There you go. What a fun little run. Some new mods that are incredible. And yeah, some new stuff coming as well by the looks of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Absolute blast of a run. I'll see you guys in the next one.